today. Rejected and alone, like a
are so grateful. We are so grateful that we are partakers of the love of God. I woke up this morning with the current happenings around the world. I just made up my mind to read about Jesus. To refresh myself and to remind myself about all he came to do for me. I was overwhelmed. My heart was deeply melted and broken as I read again and again the story of Jesus. His crucifixion, his persecutions, the, the betrayer and the denier. Everything that Jesus went through just to secure my salvation. I was further broken. And what scriptures, the popular scripture though, kept coming to my spirit, having read so much, afresh about all that Jesus came to do. That is why I want everybody all over the world to seek this moment just to return in worship and in thanksgiving for all that he has done. Romans chapter 5 verse 8 says, he said, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this why we were all, why we are still sinners, Christ died for us. Why we were still sinners, why we were lost in our bad behaviors, why we were lost in our self righteousness, why we were lost in our wrongdoing. He didn't look at our sins, but He died for us. And the Bible said, This is a demonstration of God's love. Can you imagine? That the best way that God could demonstrate his love is to hover his only begotten son. He allowed him. He subjected him. He allowed him to go through ridiculous pains. He had the cross experience. And the Bible called this love. That this is the love of God. This is the demonstration, the manifestation, the revealing. The expression of the love of God is to slaughter Jesus on the cross. Just because he wanted me to come back to him. What a love. What a, what a manner of love is this. And he said he did all of these while we were here seeing us. He did in absolute conviction and persuasion. That the death of his son will bring back his children to himself. And I'm glad that today I found Jesus. I'm saved. There is nothing good about Good Friday, but eventually it's good because the purpose and the intention behind Good Friday, which was bad, is a manifestation. And that manifestation is the salvation of men. And today I rejoice with believers across the globe who are saved. And I do believe that salvation is coming to the house. Of anyone who is here to come to the knowledge of Christ and to accept him. And as we worship God this evening, we are thanking Jesus basically for all he did. And we are activating the power of the cross. The men and women in this weekend will find Jesus. And come to a place of encounter. Because it has to be an encounter. It has to be a deep encounter. This is not a storytelling. This is an encounter. It has to be an encounter that you found the love of Christ. When you found this love, you know what happens to you? You will not be able to explain it literally. You just, that something had happened to you that you cannot humanly explain, but you know something had happened to you. Your only explanation will be the presentation of your transformation. As we proceed in this worship, we're not going to be too long here in your presence. I just want to join us. If you are watching us right now like this, comment on it, share it, and let other brethren join as we honor him one more time. Thanking him for the demonstration of the Father's love by giving us Jesus so we can come back unto him. Are we ready? Let's just worship him one more time. Let's go. Come on, let's worship from the spirit. What is in your spirit? Come on, pull it out. And let's just go ahead one more time. Pull it out. Let that be. Let it be from my belly. From a place of my personal experience. I feel the glory of the Lord in this place already. I feel the presence of the Lord. 
the mouth of God is dead. This bags right now. I see that sister. I see the brother coming to know Jesus. I see that man. I see that woman coming to know Jesus. Come on, wash it, wash it from your spirit. Come on. I see it happening right now. I'm telling you, I see it happening right now. I see it happening right now. I see that family. I see that nation. I see that local government coming to the Jesus. Oh, what the love of the Father. He gave his son and the son by subjecting him to death. So we can leave. And more importantly, so we can come to the knowledge of him and his spirit.
darkness be removed, Jesus. Let heaven from the darkness be removed, oh Jesus. The spirit of the living God is with Jesus. From office to office, from home to home, from house to house, street to street, nation to nation. Let that be a revelation of Jesus, Lord God.
this kingdom, this Jesus shall be perished to the nations of the head. After all the signs, all the tribulations, all the troubles, he said this Jesus will be perished. This gospel will be perished. Then the end shall come. And as we sing this song that is just in my spirit, I wouldn't know anyone going to help us out. Jesus, the saint of my soul. And I'm just asking that Jesus, by his spirit, we begin to take government in the heart of man. That people begin to find it easy to surrender to Jesus. Even in this time and in this season. As we worship God. It's going to happen. That as we preach the gospel of Christ through the airwaves. On one on one. When we are out of this self-isolation moment. And we begin to have physical gathering ability. To relate physically. And we are out of social distancing. And even from now and then, Jesus will find access into the heart of men. That the heart of men will be open to receive the gospel of Jesus. And to appreciate what he did on the cross of Calvary. The God I just said, do we get it? Are we together? Do we get it? Amen. Come on, let's just sing that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He's taking the center stage. Come on. Jesus at the center of it all. From the beginning to the end, it is you that I see. Oh, it's you, Jesus. Jesus, somebody help. Jesus at the center of it Jesus at the center of it all. From the beginning to the end, it will always be. Jesus 
It's not about me, but it's all about you. It's not about me, but it's all about you. It's not about me. It's not about me, but it's all about you.
that's what my song will be. That's what my song.
Prasanna de Your life is not even your home. It's not even your home. So, but God still has to release His Son to have you back to Him. And if you are doing that at this time, you may be the only person where you are. That's fine. The Spirit of the Lord is everywhere. He's right with you. You are going to have an experience right now. It's not an experience. It's not a storytelling. It is not a theory. It's not an experience. Just put your right hand on your chest and say, Jesus. 
life I is accept you as my, my Lord and personal Savior. I give myself unto you to right you now. I come into me, come into my spirit. Take over my thoughts. Take I over my life. Become the governor. Become the controller of my life. I submit myself unto you. I put myself under the influence of my the cross. I receive your blood. The Bible says without the shedding of the blood, there is no remission for sin. I receive that blood right now. And my sins are washed away. I'm forgiven. And the Holy Spirit will give, bring you to a place of conviction. Then the next thing you will start seeing right now is an obvious transformation. Smoking no longer smoking. Stealing no longer stealing. The Spirit of God will begin to help you to do the right thing right now. Then after a while, you're going to look back and realize that your life is changed. Thank you, Jesus. You are becoming a new creature. If any man be in Christ, the Bible says it's as simple as that. It's a work of faith. It's a new creature. All things have passed away. All things have become new. There is a whole lot of newness. There is a whole newness happening for you, happening to you. You are experiencing it right now. You are going to text me eventually and say, Pastor Paul, thank you for that worship moment. I receive Jesus into my spirit. Just follow us as we sing this song louder again. For the next 60 seconds, over 20 seconds, follow us as we sing it louder. Just follow this song. I will die. You internalize what you have just done right now. Come on. Thank you. Worship Jesus for all that He did for us. But we have about five minutes left, and I want to minister to you. We are going to sing the song on healing. Healing. There are people here watching wherever you are, particularly. Come on, just, just go with the background worship. You know, wherever you are, there, there is fear all around the globe about COVID 19. I was sharing with them in church and I said online service but yesterday cannot be a threat on today. This thing is called COVID-19 and this is year 2020. Jesus took care of all diseases. One of the things that Jesus did on the cross, many things were offered. One of the things he did apart from the salvation of your soul 
was to make healing available. If yours is not COVID-19, whatever it is that you are going through, you are suffering from right now, it could be headache, it could be cancer, it could be HIV, whatever name it is that your sickness is called, Jesus is the healer. He's the balming healer. The greatest medication you can ever have is to have Jesus and embrace him. He will not only save your soul, but he will save you from every form of diseases. All types of diseases. Sicknesses, weaknesses, infirmities. And I want to minister healing to you. We are going to sing a song of healing. I'm sure the Holy Spirit is breathing on our people here. And the song of healing is going to come for about two minutes. And after that, I'm going to pray for you. But I want to leave you with a word from Isaiah 53 verse 5. Isaiah 53 verse 5, the Bible says, He was pierced for our transgressions. Can you imagine? We are for transgressed, we are for saved, and Jesus was pierced. You know, today is Good Friday. We are reminding ourselves of what He did. He was pierced, swallowed, He was beaten, pierced all over His body. The Bible says that He was crushed for our iniquity. The only thing that I've separated you and God is your sin. Is our sin actually our transgressions? But Jesus paid eminent price. He paid the ultimate price. He was pierced for our transgressions. <laughs> he was crushed for our iniquities. He dealt with that once and for all. So the issue of sin was taken care of. Look at the next thing that he also did. He said, the, he said the punishment that brought us peace was on him. The punishment that brought us peace. Because the life of transgression, the life of iniquities, is a life without peace. It's a life of calamities. And so Jesus went through all the punishment so you and I can have peace. And finally, on that scripture, he said, by his wounds, by his wounds, look at it, by his wounds, we are healed. You the past tense. We are healed. So I am healed. He took care of our sins. He took care of our transgressions. He took care of our peace issue. Our peace issue. So if you are said Jesus, you are guarantee of peace. If you have Jesus, the issue of your transgressions and iniquities were taken care of. The Bible says when he was dealing with our transgressions, our iniquities, and establishing our peace, he had wounds. Oh, he had wounds. Wounds on his head. Remember him. When he was laid on the cross, remember when the when tons, crown of tongues were put on his head. Remember, blood was pushing out. When he was beaten, remember, blood, he had wound. World. The Bible says that those wounds that he had were not for form. Those wounds were the medication provided. And it's still very active today. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood. The, the blood of Jesus that will only take of our sins, transgressions, iniquities to the glory of God. It is equally the provision for our sicknesses our diseases right now we are healed if you are going through cough right now you are healed, come on say it to yourself I am healed, come on I am healed, come on say it. I'm healed, I'm sure the healing song will be very very affirmative I am healed, you are going through the pressures, come on I am healed the blood of Jesus as you remember it more profoundly today is a cure, is a healing is a provision the wounds of Jesus is a major the wounds is the provisional product for all our depressions she by his stripes, you. by his wounds. Come on, let me sing it. We are healed. Me, As we worship God right now, with the little citation, I will come back to pray for any kind of wounds, for all types of diseases. Oh, I like that. I like that. The power of Jesus. Through his wounds will be transmitted through this place. But every time we remember him, 
and we activate the redemptive provision of his wounds. He's more than 